So remember back when I did a video and we had a new Opal Chrome? Well, guess what? We have some new ones. So these are the three new Opals. I'm obsessed with them. Everybody needs a white Opal. So pretty, has a great opalescent look to it. This pink one, oh my gosh, has so much depth. It kind of has a little fire, little frosty in it. So, so pretty. Now this one, oh my gosh, it's black with a gold like little swirl through it. Okay, so I had an opportunity to build a couple nails just on the fly. So I wanna share it with you. There are a couple different techniques and I kind of combine the colors. So I have them right here on the hand. And as you could see here, this is just kind of laying it down and encapsulating it. And as you move it, you could see the glow. Here is encapsulated as well, but it's more of like a high-low. I built stuff really high and put stuff in the middle. So I'm gonna demo what I did with these two. Shh, Melissa, stop. Why? I have to tell people very important information. The Black Friday sale is going on right now, guys. What do we have? We have some amazing bundles. We have the ELO bundle. We have the Brook AB box, which has stamping plates in it. I'm so excited. We have the Bling and Glam nail table set up. We also have two separate mystery boxes. You guys asked for it, we listened. We have an acrylic one and we have a gel one. This sale goes all the way to December 2nd, 11.59 PST time. And okay, Melissa, take it back. Okay, so I'm gonna use a 150 Arbor brand for my prep and I'm gonna do it on 5,000 RPMs. Anywhere from four to six is accurate and safe. And I'm gonna tickle all the way through, just removing the shine. Let me go and just swipe and change the pH balance on these two. So I'm going to use our new protein bond in our bigger bottle and I love it so much. It really fits nice in the hand, very easy to use. But I'm gonna show you what I've discovered. Now a really long nail, I love how much it holds. I'll go straight on the fridge, working back to the cuticle. When it's a little smaller, I'll do a little circle. Come in, start at the free edge and work my way up so that way it is not flooding the cuticle and you're not using too much two coats still. So we have a new brush. I love this brush, it's so pretty. But what I love about it, it fits really tight and I like that because sometimes it gets loose and wants to fall off. You could store it, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna go into Clear Sculptor to extend my free edge. And I did kind of like a slight taper kind of traditional square here. So what I'm going to do is build out my free edge, I get all my product in front of my brush and I slowly bring it up to the end of her sidewall right here, meet it together and bring it back to the other side. And if you notice, I am pivoting my brush and as I pivot, pivoting my brush, I am able to tuck it in the corner right here. And I'm going to lightly touch it and feather it all out. And I think I need to come out to about five. One, two, yeah, I'll bring it out about here. It might be a little longer than the other one, um, but I will would rather have it be longer than too short. So what I'm going to do now is wipe my side, bring it straight down, wipe my side on the opposite side, bringing it straight down, and then I'm going to square it off, let's see. So this is our new light. It is a pin cure light. I love how it's very, very sturdy right here, very sturdy. Like even if I hit the light, it's not gonna fall over. It's very well balanced, but there's so many features to this that I love so much. I love that you could pop it out right here. See how it kind of glides out and you could put this to the side. I like it on if I'm gonna do like a full well tip or I just wanna start and stop here. I like to use it loose like this. It has great features on it. You push it once, it's on 60 seconds. If you tap it, see how it stops and starts? It's a feature you have that you could just stop it and start it again if you want to instead of pushing your button all the time. This is incredible. I have never used one like this. I am so obsessed with it. So let's go ahead and cure this. And what I do is I cure it around the perimeter. This is a very, very strong, very strong one. See how it's cured already? Now, is it fully cured? I would still go under the light to cure it more, but I could build on this and build on this and final cure it at the end or in between. So now that I have that, I'm going to go into my Synergy Base Gel and I'm going to go cuticle to free edge with it. 
I look at it from the side and see if I need to add a little here, if there's going to be a dip. I'm going to add a tad bit. So what I'm going to do is lightly touch it and let it melt in there. And as you could see, you could see it self level. I'm going to get my little light and I'm going to cure it. You really only need to go like about three times. Two probably works, but this is my third round and see how it's cured on there. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna do this to all five and then I'm going to use my new lights. First of all, look at the top of it. So beautiful. Up here, it's totally digital. Totally, totally digital. It's cordless. You could use it with the cord, without a cord, whatever you would like. Right here, it has a 90, a 60, a one, um, 15 seconds and 30 seconds, and you can see it start counting down. Here is your battery, battery life. It's so cool. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on 30, because that's really all I need. So let's go. When she goes under herself, it'll turn on. I already pushed 30, so it's going to go for the 30 seconds for me. 30 seconds is all you need for your base before you carry on. Once you're out, you could go ahead and remove this. Be very careful because there's really no strength. It's just laid down for your structure to be built. So we'll do this simple design first. So I will bring all three of my opal gels and I'm going to use, I have my little brush holder here. I don't know if you've seen this little brush holder, but it's a little crown brush holder. It matches, holds very nice, I love it. Just wanted to show you that really quick. I'm obsessed with it. I am going to use what's designed for a 3D art brush for acrylic. See how it's a little, a little straighter here? I might use this. I'm gonna have it out. I could use it with gel or acrylic. I like how tiny it is if I need to get in a little spot. I'll have this out just in case. But I also have this right here, obsessed with it too, a spatula on this side and a brush on this side. And what I love about this brush is it's perfectly rounded around the cuticle area. So it kind of hugs and tightens your whole cuticle area to where you could kind of just pivot it and polish it down with any gel color you would like. Now let's say I'm gonna season this one just in case. And what I mean by seasoning, Sometimes when you have a new brush, it's pretty dry and it's hard to pick up the gel and work with. What I would do is dip it in my gel and in your cap or on your tile, go back and forth to infuse all of that gel into it. Let me wipe it on the tile. Now you could see it moves very, very, very easy. So what I'm going to do is bring my little tile here. Let's start with the pink. Now, there's no wrong way or right way. I'm just using my imagination from this point. There's pink. Let's use some white. I think I kind of like this white here. And I'm really not building any strength with it. I'm just laying it down right now. Put a little bit of white right here. Remember, there's no wrong way. It's just using your imagination. Just don't copy exactly what you have next to it and you'll be good. Now remember, if it's not as bold as you want it, we could go over it after we cure. Okay, let's go into our black. And I'm basically just polishing it in. When you're polishing it in, you'll see the gold in there. It is so pretty. I'll probably go over it again, just so I can make my black a little more black in some spots. But what I like about this is like, if you come down, you kind of come off, see how it kind of feathers off and it leaves like a really cool finish. Let's do that on this side too. Just let it kind of feather. I think I'm gonna make one spot a little whiter, but you know when you're working, sometimes it's easy for your client to go under the light by themselves. but if you want a quick second just to flash it and add, you could use this new LED light. I usually like to go around the perimeter here. So there's really no such thing as messing up with nails. It's pretty easy to come in and fill it. And you could kind of see really how cool this black looks with the gold coming in a second time through here. Ooh, this is cool looking. There's really no wrong way or right way. You're just using your imagination. 
So what I'm going to do is flash cure this. And then I kind of like how you could see how it just kind of smears a little. It's different in different spots. I kind of want to do a little more pink through here, maybe in the black. Oh yeah, because it has a little more gold. Okay, flash this one more time. Now what I'm going to do is move these to the side. So what I'm going to do is come in right here, put enough on to where I could take some from the sides to encapsulate this. And this right here, you'll actually see the shimmer come out. It's hard to see your design really like as clear as you can once you encapsulate it. I think that's what the beautiful part of these opal gels are. They the glow when you encapsulate them. You could use these as a gel polish. So pretty because they're very thin and have really great coverage. There's so many things you could do with them. But of course, you know me, I like to encapsulate. Get my orange wood stick. I'm gonna make sure my sides are clean. Now you know me when I work, all I care is if it's where it belongs, right? I don't care if it's a little wide at all. Let's say when you're doing a nail on your client and they're kind of reckless and they hit the light a lot, you could come cure the perimeter to kind of flash set it, then come in with your light and finish curing it for one full minute. But what I'm going to do right now is flash set it because I'm going to do the other nail really fast so you can see the two different ways of doing nails. So let's go ahead and form this one. So let's do Claire Sculptor again. Going to build my extension. Not everybody's nails are perfect. Sometimes they're curved. This helps to get it on really, really well. Okay, so now let's go into our base gel, Synergy Base, so I could connect everything. I'll go ahead and bring this down. It's a nice brush. I got a little on her skin. Take it off immediately. It happens. You just have to remove it. Don't cure it on there if possible. That's why you always work with the orange wood stick or something. Again, look at it from the side. I can see there's a dip. So I'm going to get a little. Come in through here. Watch it melt in. Wipe my brush. See how it's self-leveling? Okay, from there what I'm going to do is and flash set this. Okay, move this to the side, take my form off, use this end of my orange wood stick. So I could go back and forth with it and see exactly where it's at. There we go. Push it downward. Come. As you have it off, go ahead and trim it if you would like to the length. And that looks pretty much accurate. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the pink opal. But what I did is I went and I channeled it. I called this channeling a little. What I did is I drizzled it in different spots. I'm not going to copy the same thing I did, but it's going to have the same stuff in it. Just try to put your sprint, your, your little trail or your sparkles in a different spot, okay? So then that way it doesn't look like we tried too hard to make them look alike. It has a better flow. We do it this way. So I'm going to come in right here. See, I'll get it in front of my brush. I'm going to bring it really high. And I think I'll come in here. Let's bring it down a little here. So see, it, it looks like I'm just doing whatever. Well, I am. Some of it's really high. Let's kind of trill it out a little. There's no wrong way or right way with this. I want this a lot higher because I want to file into it after I encapsulate. Okay, I think I like this. Let's get my one of my favorite new things. And you could see it's see-through clear. And then the opal's kind of higher and thicker. I have another surprise. This was my most favorite color and it had to be discontinued at some point. I don't know if it because they weren't making it anymore or what happened, but Young Nails was able to bring it back. There are three colors that are all the same color but a different cut. I'm going to show you what they are right here. Here is Waterfall, 
Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. High tide. So pretty. And sea spray. All the same color, just a different cut. This is amazing. I'm so excited. So I had to stick this in the nails too. So let's move this to the side. And what I'm going to do is take my base gel. So I'm really putting most of it in the middle, but I am going to go over the high part too. Okay, after I base it, I'm going to take, I'm going to pick these two brushes and I'm going to just use my imagination. I'm going to start with the bigger ones first, which is waterfall. Waterfall is the biggest. So I don't care if it goes up on top of the pink. It doesn't matter. It's not cured. I could wipe it off or I could leave it if I decide I like it. There's really no, don't put so much thought into it, just wherever it falls. Go ahead and fill it in. This is the really fine one. So I start with waterfall, then go to high tide, and then sea spray. So always start with your bigger ones. Okay, I like that. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's clean. And I want a little bit more of a negative space here. See how you could see that? It's not cured, so you could do what you want. Just make sure you're using a tool. This is an orange wood stick. Something to where you could clean everything really tight and you're not curing anything and the glitter's not sticking out everywhere you don't want it. So let me use this one here. This is gonna help me get it in tight on my side. Just the little pieces that I want. Okay, so there we go. I'm left with this right here and I'm going to go ahead and flash it. Now this cures it enough and let's go into our encapsulation. Now remember this is high right here. You could go ahead and come in, bring it in the middle, about right here, then quit squeezing. There's many different ways to do this. I do a different way all the time. Lately I've been stuck on this way. I like it because it's high in the middle and I could just come in my side and fill all this in. And I'm bringing more in the negative space because it needs to be filled up a little higher. Bring this side over. Yeah, this one I made a little more bold than the other one. I like it. After I was done with the other one, I'm like, I want one a little more bold than that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make sure it's as tight as I could get it. Now, I'm not gonna make it perfect because it does have that negative space and if I try to come in with it, it might notch it. So I think what I'm going to do is cure around the perimeter and then let's put her under our new light. It's for 30 seconds because I want to look and see if I need to add anywhere else. Okay, so from the side, this obviously came down. It's easy to file. I could tell I need just a tad bit there. How I could tell, I'm gonna show you really fast. If you line it up with the sidewall where that hang isn't there, you could see if you need more. I have plenty here. I'm gonna file it down. I just need a tad bit right there. Just to make sure I can file it in how I want for her shape and structure and strength. Now I rather have my nail be too thick than too thin because once you start filing, if you have to add, it takes more time. It's very easy to file down to where you want it. So let's go ahead and final cure this. It'll turn on by itself when it goes under. Let's do 60 seconds. Once it's cured for one full minute, I'm going to go ahead and take off all the sticky residue on top. And again, we all work a little different. I make sure it's not on the skin, but if I spend my time making this perfect, I would still be working on it. If your filing skills are there, you could go straight into what I'm doing. If not, you'll get there, no problem. They're both correct. So I'll go ahead and file these off camera and I'll come back and show you the end result. Okay, so I completed my other nails. Just for the first round of doing it my first time, this is what I came up, up with. I cannot wait to come up with more designs and I can't wait to see yours either. So check these out and recreate them, make them your own, and thank you for watching.